Good afternoon, everyone. This is Deputy Chief Billy Sears, the Kern County Fire Department. So we're here at the base of the Lake Isabella Reservoir at the dam and going to answer a few questions that have been coming up really about when does the water reach the spillway, what does that affect, and when we're going, that, those types of questions. So as you look here at the, uh, the dam, we're at the spillway at the gates where all of the water for the Kern River is being released at this time. So that, this is where it starts as it flows and heads down uh, towards Bakersfield. When it talk about the spillway, that, that spillway gets to the point of max capacity at Lake Isabella Reservoir is when we're at 568,000 acre feet. Now, if you look at the dashboard that, that we have on kerncounty.com, that dashboard has a percentage on the side. And when you're looking at that percentage, when it gets to 100%, that is where it'll start to crest, just barely crest the spillway and start to spill out of the service spillway. Once we get to the service spillway, somewhere mid-June is where the uh, predictions are showing it to be, is in that mid-June area. As the snow runs off the mountain, fills Lake Isabella Reservoir, and starts coming over the spillway, that's when we'll really start feathering, uh, the quarry engineers will start feathering that, that release. So as you look at the gates and all the water's coming here, they will reduce those gates and you'll have less coming out of the base of the dam and more coming over the service spillway. And they'll equal those out to that average that we're continually wanting to use is that 7,500 CFS and, and slightly above, but it's really a range in there because it's an average of the week. So when you look at the releases for the dam, it is an average of that whole week. And so we're looking at that 7,500 uh, and we're talking to the Corps of Engineers and looking at the prediction maps, we, d we don't see that ever going above 8,000 as it's predicted right now. So that's how we, we uh, coordinate with the Corps of Engineers when it comes to the release here at Lake Isabella Reservoir. So as the water is released and we see the increase, you know, we have a lot of water releasing right now. So we have, you know, that 7,500 CFS and just slightly above as it comes from here and runs down through Bakersfield. We talked about all the weirs and those on, on other conversations, but what really is the next portion that we're always looking at is what is the impacts to the bridges on the highways and to our highway, specifically Highway 178 and Highway 155, the, the, the shorter portion of it here next to the reservoir. So right now we are seeing some uh, damage to 178 where they, they've closed uh, the lanes to the Kern Canyon while they continue to assess how to re what repairs need to be done there. We also continue to look at all the bridges that affect everywhere from in Bakersfield and very specifically up into the Kern River Valley where we have the releases here. And so one of the bridges is right on 155 just downstream from where we are right now. Caltrans continues to monitor that bridge they look for scolding, they look for erosion, and right now all the, no concerns for any of the bridge, uh, that bridge in our area. The other bridge that could be of concern that we'll always continue to monitor is the French Gulch Bridge. Now the French Gulch Bridge is on 155, it is in the reservoir portion. And as the lake fills, that, it'll get closer to the bottom of French Gulch Bridge. Now looking at the predictions and, and talking to Caltrans and the height of that bridge, it was designed uh, after the, the reservoir was built. So they feel they have plenty of room between that bridge and in the high points of what we're expecting for the Lake Isabella Reservoir. So hopefully that clears up a lot when it comes to uh, the bridges, the, where the water comes from and how the spillway really works uh, here at Lake Isabella and, and, and when we're really going to potentially see it come over the spillway. But what I want to leave you is that we're continually monitoring between multiple agencies, the U.S. Corps of Engineers, Caltrans, all of the Kern County departments, all monitoring, uh, keeping those close contacts with all those agencies through our emergency operations center and we'll continue to keep you as most updated and as soon as we possibly can of any changes that may potentially happen.